a Orange Pie 5 case that was recently sent in and I want to crack it open and see what it is all about. So let's break into it. So this case is supposed to incorporate with the ice tower cooler for the Raspberry Pi 4 with just a bracket swap. So basically just taking the same bracket that's on the Orange Pi, or I'm, I'm sorry, that's on the Raspberry Pi 4 and swapping that bracket out with a custom bracket that's a uh, special fit for the Orange Pi um, will basically give it compatibility with the, um, with the Orange Pi 5. So I'm pretty hype about that. So here is the case and here is my ice tower cooler for the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, you've probably seen it in some of my other videos uh, with the Raspberry Pi 4. It's an, it's an open air concept. Um, just mounts onto the to the uh, four holes around the, the the edges of the Raspberry Pi four, and then it just mounts right onto the main chip. Has a nice little LED, plugs right into the to the um, two connectors on the Raspberry Pi. Pretty straightforward, pretty basic. Um, has a nice little bottom too. It has a nice this nice little um, kind of translucent. It's got film over it, but this is actually clear. Nice little translucent base, so your um, your device will stay nice and flat, but I don't think that the um, the base is incorporated with this guy. So let's see what it looks like. Sorry, I'm just getting the uh, stream pulled up here on my laptop. I just wanna make sure I have audio really quick because I'm doing this straight from my phone. I'm doing this straight from my phone. Yep, okay, got audio. Coming straight through the AirPods. Just making sure, yeah, I have an AirPods and I'm trying to um, to just do this really quick. I'm on, on my lunch break. Just literally, I just couldn't wait any longer to get this thing open. So I was like, let me just do a live stream. I don't feel like recording and editing and doing all that song and dance. Let's just, let's just take it. Let's just take it live. We'll just do it live. Okay. This is a good 3D print. I'm not like a 3D print enthusiast or anything. But like, I do see some like, you know, TikTokers and stuff getting into 3D printing and seeing some of like the new stuff they come up with. Like, oh yeah, hey, check out this, this, my first 3D print, my second 3D print. And it looks like complete garbage. This is like, this looks like a real legit product. I'll link the store, um, the Etsy store for this whenever I get it. I don't actually have the link at the moment. But once I get a link, I'm gonna actually put this in a long form video. And um, as well, why isn't that? Oh, this is too big. I'm gonna put in a long form video as well, and um, hopefully, I have a link by then. Oh, this bit doesn't even go with this screwdriver. Wait, that means I'm missing a bit. Da -da -da. Yeah, I'm missing a bit. I'm missing like multiple bits. Uh oh. This is well packaged too. It's like it's got everything inside. It looks like this looks like a little desktop PC. Oh yeah, and the little bottom, the little feet down here. Um, this should be to hold a um, like a SATA or a laptop drive down here. Have some extra storage down there. That's actually pretty sick. Check that out. That's pretty sick. So it's very similar to that. Um, not very similar, but. It, it keeps that hard, that external hard drive in mind, at least. Like the, um, the uh, Raspberry Pi um, media server, Jellyfin server that I made, it had kind of a similar vibe to it. Oh, that's the fan. I don't need to unscrew that. Whoops. You know what, let's just unscrew it anyways. Let's just get all these screws out. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay. Oh, that's actually that's actually filtered. Check that out. That fan panel actually has a filter on it. That's pretty sick. Ah. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, 
material for the other. Then we're gonna transfer material. Okay. Hard drive mounting screws. This is supposed to be a thermal pad in here. Maybe it fell out. Oh, yep, yeah, it did fall out. Yep, thermal pad for the chip. And this is for, these are the legs for the bottom of the ice tower. Okay, NVMe mount as well. Um, good handwriting. I just, <laughs> just not a, not feeling it, not reading today. Um, okay, and a little copper. So yeah, this just fell out of this little bag here. But yeah, a little transfer pad, a little copper heat sink there. Because I think we'll see. We'll see when we get to it. This must be the bracket. Yep. There is the nice bracket um, for the orange pie five. All right. Trash out the way. All right. So where what is the best way to build this guy? So the, the ice tower cooler is going to mount to this. This pan, this is like that panel. Looks like that's where. Okay, so let me get my orange five five down. Got it on my little clip here. I actually had a some thermal paste still on this thing from the last project that I did. Let me get this thermal paste off of here. Well, I've made this worse than anything. Trying to be fast. Uh, ah, good enough. All right. So let's see how this thing lines up. So wait, how does that power button even work? Damn, this is gonna take me a while to put together. I thought this was gonna be a quick little thing. I mean, it's not gonna take me that long to put together. It's not that complicated, but. I am very intrigued. Maybe I'm supposed to slide in from the other side? I just want to see what it's going to look like sitting in there. on it. Why would I want a filter? That's stupid. Okay, that's done. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, this thing is holding the frame together. Okay, well that it looks... Explain how you get it in there. This whole thing comes apart. Yeah, all the screws are the same size. All right. So now we have a fully disassembled case. Yeah, it's gonna take a little while to do, but I am happy with how it looks. Though I like it. Very well thought out. It looks very well thought out. Get this little peel going. So they protected the plexiglass or plastic sheet, whatever you want to call it. Let's 
scratch it. Peel it. So I am probably going to figure out some sort of server application or multiple applications to run on the Orange Pi 5. I think I'm going to get another one to do um, to do more uh, like gaming stuff on it. I kind of find myself needing two of every single board PC because there's one that I want to tinker with and do you know, just put a bunch of different server applications on it, media server, software, um, pie hole, stuff like that. But then I want to keep that separate from like, you know, the retro gaming stuff. Cause you know, um, I like making, when I do retro gaming, um, on single board PCs, I like to make it a, a full appliance. If you uh, have seen some of my previous videos, I had my arcade cabinet running on a raspberry Pi, and it was a full like arcade appliance, um, UI that I like to have on it. So when I boot it up, it boots right to the software, the, the retro game software that I want. It's ready to play games. I like that, uh, that kind of isolated experience. And then you have all the craziness and junk and all sorts of containers and stuff you, where you want to run your, your server applications on. So I want to have like a server pie and a gaming pie my goal anyways all right so we got a nice plexiglass like smoked smoke black i guess whatever you want to call it it's translucent but it is uh like tinted ah, it's gonna look so sick i love it um okay so let's see how these line up the io here io lines up perfectly look at that beautiful so this thing just floats. It's got a little bracket and it's just gonna float in there. Love it. So like, so well thought out. So it's gonna sandwich in like this. So what are you, oh, I'm gonna hit your little reset button here. That's your, that's what you're pressing here. Got you. Got you, got you, got you, got you. I'm pressing you in to press this little guy in. That little, that little reset button there. The little reset button that I always, accidentally click so along the side of the io here that's a heatsink i put on there but you can see this little button right here it's a little um little reset button clicks in constantly whenever i'm plugging um plugging in a usb or something and i'm grabbing the back of it always accidentally press the power button or reset button but okay so from what I understand, this is going to be difficult. Getting the um, the incorporation of this is going to be a little tedious because it's two it's two kind of kits that don't really like. This doesn't have instructions. This part doesn't have instructions. So I'm going to have to like um, check with my email with the uh, the actual seller and um, see. I might have to chat with him and just get some pointers. But it, it, he explained it to me in a pretty um, pretty good way it's like basically this is everything that comes with the ice tower cooler it's like this is it those are all the accessories uh bracket fan screws so i um, don't need the bracket because i have a new bracket and um fans right here um already has a fan on it the led fan this is a spare fan spare black fan i guess you could use it on the other end as well do like a push pull config but that's not really needed um but yeah uh it's just everything but the bracket but it's just a little tedious getting all the screws in there. We got a little bit of time though. Got a little bit of time left on my on my lunch here. We can maybe get it together in time. I got nowhere to be. All right. I could probably put some music on this live stream. I didn't. Um, I'm doing this from my phone, like I said, so. There's no, I don't think there's a way to put any like background music or anything on. Uh, maybe I have to do it in post or something. A little bent. I don't know how my port got bent there, but very minor. Okay. Okay. So why do I have material or the other? Oh, okay. He's got the thermal pad on here, and then he wants this to make contact 
with the bottom of the uh, of the cooler with a little thermal paste. A little paste with with the um, okay, yeah. But I literally have the same exact copper heat sink that he uh, supplied for me, <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Um, let me get some thermal paste. I'll wait till I get the bracket on to do that. Okay, so how's the bracket going to go here? This is the... Okay. Okay, so this go down here. This one goes here. It's got these little notches on here to kind of keep them in place. These little notches on the side. You can see those. And they kind of lock in or and surround the uh, the mounting plate down there. It keeps these in place. Keeps everything kind of locked in. But how does that actually stay? Oh, because of the screw. That's right. It's going to screw in. So let's see. How does the bracket screw in on this thing? Read the instructions. All right. So how does this bracket actually screw in? It's got to screw in from the bottom, right? Cannot remember. Okay, we've got our mount. Okay. Yep, you just screw in right to the bottom. My pile of screws here. Let me just make sure the brackets are gonna be in the right spots. This is gonna kind of levitate. I don't know how. Okay, it's gotta be this. If these are the same size, yeah, they're the same exact bracket. So it's gotta be this and this. It's gotta be how this rolls. Okay. And then you are gonna sit here. And it looks like these two are interchangeable. So you can put the fan facing either direction but for the sake of this I don't want to have to do this twice let me check my email no this was this can be here be there like that this will be there and we'll have our nice beautiful yeah because we want these connectors, these three connectors on it. Oh yeah, LED, the RGB. You have your power connector, uh, power connectors, and then you have your RGB is the blue one, I guess. I don't remember there being a blue one on the other one. Oh well, but yeah, I'm gonna do it this way, pointing to the pins so I can get my pins connected. Yeah, let's get our bracket on. That's gonna go. The LTT screwdriver. Hashtag not sponsored. I'm not gonna break into a LTT sponsored read or anything. Don't get alarmed by the screwdriver. I promise I won't try to sell you anything at this very point. Maybe later. When I get a link to this uh, Etsy shop, I'll try and sell you this um 
this case where if I like it, I'll recommend it. And so far, I like it. And it's, I like it because it's very well made. These brackets are like, no joke. I was expecting plastic brackets. But these are like thick aluminum brackets. <laughs> it's like no joke. They're way better than the factory ones, like a million times better. All right, so we've got our fan here. Let me make sure these are tight because the ones on my last build were very, they, they became loose over time. I guess moving it around a lot just shakes these up for some reason, but I right, wanna make sure those are nice and tight. All right. All right, so that's gonna go there. And I think we get ready to mount this guy to the board. Gotta make sure our thermal paste is good before that. Okay. We take our aluminum, or do we take these little copper feet with the nut on top? These are gonna go in here with the nut on top and give it these little feet so it races off the board. Keep from getting on all our USB ports and touching some things they shouldn't be touching. And also hovering above our heat sinks because I have like, well, I have this one heat sink here. Um, I forget what module it's on, but I have a couple of other flat copper heat sinks as well. Keep everything nice and chill. But soon we're about to be like maximum chill. Like this is about to be another level. It's gonna like look really nice next to my um, Raspberry Pi server unit that's in that nice aluminum case. This is gonna be a nice little uh, neighbor next to it. I'm gonna have to get a rack. If you watch this on the replay, let me know if you have like a server rack for um, your mini PCs, like mini PCs and single board PCs. Cause like, I want this thing to just sit up on a shelf, you know? Oh. I think all these are the same size. I'm like freaking out here looking at each little um, one of these gold little feet, because I'm like, is this one bigger than the other one? They all look the same. <clears throat> I think we're good. Mm, yeah, that's a nice fit. Let me make sure these are tight too. Now let's get... So after that, we're just going from the bottom with the metal feet. So what is this for? Okay, so these are legs for the bottom of the ice tower are in here. So let's see what we got. So instead of... Um, I'm confused now. So this says... Legs for the bottom of the ice tower plus one by five assembly. The shield and an NVMe mount. So this is the shield it's referring to. Maybe this goes to this. I'll have to look up like a diagram for that. But let's see. Ooh, no. This goes here. It does have a spot. I'm an idiot. This shield here is for the ports. I'm an idiot on the side. Upside down, but this is what it's for 
on the side. It's actually a perfect fit. I'm an idiot. I put the I put the fan on backwards or the mount on backwards. It's supposed to be a nice little shield that goes on the side there. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. But do I take the bracket? Okay, I can just take the bracket off and swap them. Because I just have to do this, basically, just to flip it around. So yeah, I just I'll just swap the brackets around. It won't be that big a deal. You know, we had a 50-50 shot, and we guessed wrong. What can you do? Alright, so now I know the fan needs to face the same spot as the shield for the uh, rest of the I.O. Okay, they had to flip upside down. Making sure I don't confuse myself. That happens very often. All right. Let's get the bracket on correctly. on this. I gotta redo these two. Oh, man. Oh well. Not, yeah, because I had to flip them upside down, so I've gotta redo the little feet as well. It's a little annoying, but we're getting there. We're learning, we're learning. magnetic screwdriver sometimes because when you don't have two hands all right oh my god I feel like a little kid trying to hit the uh you know, the toddler toy trying to fit the the right shape and the right hole. It feels like it's going in at an angle or something. This doesn't feel right. Okay, that's better. All right, now we redo all the feet. Get our feet back on the right way.
Nothing like redoing everything, you know? Something therapeutic about trying to remain calm while having to redo everything because you guessed wrong on a 50-50 shot. You know? You try to keep the positive energy. One more after this one. Wait a minute. These are supposed to be the feet. Why don't they go on? Oh. So how is this? These are so these are little feet that the case came with. There's these little black feet with a little threading inside. What I think I missed is the threading is supposed to go onto. Wait. So how? But yeah, this thing needs feet to stand up. So how on earth? No. I'm not 100% sure why it needs feet. Tell you the truth. Well, there goes one foot. Just dropped it. Tiny piece. Let's see if I can find it. Man, drop the thing. I don't think. They're super critical. What did I just drop? But I want all four feet at least. There it is. I found it. All right. I've got all four feet again. Minor, uh, minor mix up there. I'm trying to figure out how. Yeah, that's not bad. It's it's gonna need. I might check out what what we have here. Let me check my email really quick. Because so I think there might be some useful information. Because I'm guessing on this. I think my guess might be right. But so far, I'm like 0 for 3 on guessing with this thing. So let's check with the seller notes to see where these feet go. These black feet with the, the copper threading on the inside. I wanna see some reference pictures here. Just give me a second. I would show you my screen, but I'm streaming off of my phone, which I'm not like super used to, so. Um, and I'll still do streams with like webcam and, and stuff and play some games maybe and stuff, but for right now, I just wanted to see how the phone worked. Okay, okay. 
better pictures of the case, how it looks, attaching an external drive, um, rubber feet on the bottom, RSD card slot. Aha! I see. The feet are definitely you. Are they just? Oh, that's okay. I see it now. So we actually go in to the board with our little copper foot hanging out and threading hanging out the bottom, and the, the bracket goes on top of that. Super boring stuff, but it makes sense, and I like things that make sense. Okay, so the way this works is instead of using a nut on the on the bottom, we'll use an actual screw on the top so that the threading from the copper um, joint here sticks out the bottom and onto our nice plastic 3D printed feet that came with our our case. Year. All right. Last one, and then we'll be all set. So, I'll show you when I get done here, show you exactly what I did. So, what you'll see. Okay, so what I did here to resolve, or actually not resolve, but to make it look like the seller image is that the screw goes in on top from the ice tower cooler, uh, and then the copper, um, I don't know, you know, you call these half nut, half screw, two way joints that have the, the threading on the top and the threading that sticks out the bottom. It, it um, instead of using a nut and going upside down, use a screw, go inside of the uh, threading so that these uh, copper threading stick out the bottom of the case. So like so. So now you still have your rising. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Siri. I don't need you right now. You're going to get replaced with ChatGPT anyways. Um. Oh. Oh, that must have been one that was just sitting on the board. All right, so that is going to be the result. Well, let me just put the feet on. I can do less talking and more showing. You can actually see the full greatness of how this thing actually converts over to the orange five. And we'll basically have our ice tower cooler mounted on a board. Oh, that's why. 
Yeah, let me undo that. I just wanted to see what it actually fit, and I got one of my wires st stuck under the board. These need to okay be away, and this needs to be away for right now because I need to put on thermal paste. But everything lines up, so I'm happy about that. I'll put a little thermal paste on there. Just a little, a little drizzy drop, a little droplet, a little something, something, something. Something to wet the whistle. You know, less is more, less is more. Let's keep these. These gonna have to go around. Actually, no, the screw, they are, it is supposed to go here. I almost wanna rotate the fan and put the IO there because it would do better there, but this should be fun. Let's get this on here and then I gotta get back to work. Let me hurry up and get this put back together because we're almost done. Let's go. I was worried this thing would take forever, but I'm pretty hyped with how easy it is to put together. If I was just not a complete idiot, that would be like, that would save me so much time. But, you know, can always have what we want. Wait, is that bolt to the, oh no, that, that is to the case. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Yep. Lines up nice. Okay, so that sits in there, and that sits in there. Yeah, this this side doesn't even do anything. Um, I have to wire it. Oh, I'll do the bot the bottom. That'll be the best. That way I can work with it still. If I put the bottom plate back on, these are the same, aren't they? Yeah. The, the case is actually held together by the side panels. But that's how it'll look. That's how the finished product will look. It's going to have a base plate down there. The Orange Pie 5 will sit inside nicely snug. The fan is going to be pointing out to that, um, that other IO shield as well as the fan side here so that's where the uh the ports will go and then we'll have our nice little sd card slot and power button on that end a nice fan and everything so i think it's gonna turn out great i just gotta put a couple screws back together um i gotta get the wiring diagram for this which is it on here already oh no it's on here let me do that really quick i might can get this done really quick uh, let's see so that is going to be the five volt on the very end. Uh, it's not reaching. This is why I wanted to do it separately almost, or I move the fan or move the uh, cables. All right, so it's five volt ground and then RGB right after that. So, and this doesn't reach. Awesome, doesn't reach. So I am gonna have to rotate the fan. You know what? what? Do this down really quick. This 
ice tower cooler. Okay. All right, now we skip one, go into the next one after the five volt. I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. I'll show you the diagram at least. So we skip one, you go into the next one for the ground, and then the next one for uh, what I believe is the RGB. And you'll have something that looks like that. Okay. And you will have you have an IO shield on the front here. We have our front panel. I need a, like a sec second set of hands for the best results here. Okay. There's probably a better way to do this and I'm just like missing it here. But I'm trying to basically get the case inside or get the orange pie to sit in the case without sliding, but also get this bottom panel lined up while fighting gravity. I think I may have it finally. Okay. They slide into each other pretty nicely, so you just kind of got to have an eye for it. This this mesh. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Wait, are these okay? Oh, I gotta put the rest of these back in. Checking out the rest of these screws, trying to figure out what's what. I kind of got my ice tower cooler screws mixed in with my Orange Pie 5K screws. So things are a little out of whack, but there's only a couple screws that left, so. Okay. 
Let's try this this method here. Use gravity a little bit. Let's just put the other panel on. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get cute here. And I just need to put the other panel on, the flat panel. And then oh, yeah, I gotta get back to work. This lunch break is going a little over. Actually, it doesn't matter because once you have the side panel on, you can just slide the bottom and top panels in. That's what the trick is. So that's the trick. So the best way to do it is to put the front and back on. I mean, this is probably obvious to some people that are smarter than me, which isn't saying much, but still, if you put the front and back panels on, then you can just slide the bottom and top panels in. They'll just literally slide into place. So yeah, so to put this together, the best method is front and back panels, and then you go over the top with the side panel, and then you, uh, the, the, the flat side panel, and then you can just slide in the bottom slot, then you can then you can just slide in the bottom and top panels. Easy peasy. <laughs> Alright, so that's one, two, three, four. But then yeah, these two definitely go. How was this screwed in when I opened the thing? Oh, wait a minute. Where are the inside? This doesn't have any. I'm confused. I'm confusion. I'm confusion. I'm confusion. Oh, is this the, like a back? Okay, this is like a back brace. Oh. Okay. All right, so that's a back panel for the fan. And once I get this second screw in, that's pretty much it. What are we at, 55 minutes? A little longer than I thought, but I had to basically redo every step almost, so definitely less than an hour they should take you. Anybody with more brain capacity than me will easily get this done. But like this panel trips me though, because I don't know how it's supposed to stay in. 
and then just press against the Okay, yeah, it just seals right up against the board. So it, it really is like an I.O. shield, like a true I.O. shield on a, on a desktop PC. And that's it. Got four screws. And I'll probably feature this in an uh, upcoming video, so... If you don't get a good look at it, like right now, if you can't really see it that well, when I put it up to the camera, I'll get some nice shots of it, show you really what it really looks like. This is just a unboxing and build video. I just wanted to see how easy it was to build straight out of the box with, you know, very minimal um, or well, no experience with it. But yeah, that's it. The Orange Pie 5. Ice Tower Cooler Collabo Case. Hard drive slot on the bottom. Laptop drive could slide like right in to the top or the bottom here. Yep. Laptop drive slides right in. It's got the connectors and everything uh, for the. Um, the screws on the side, you mount your hard drive right in there, not even see it really, completely hide it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But that's it. Oh, do we want to do a power on really quick? Let's do a power on really quick before I clock it. I got, let's see, 57 minutes. I got to clock back in in like two minutes. Really quick, really quick. Let's see if we can get a boot. Really quick, really quick. Go to the USB C. No. Oh, wrong one. Ah, look at that. Would you look at that? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. That looks so good just sitting up on your shelf, you know? Yeah, that's gonna sit nah, yeah. That's gonna sit nicely. That's gonna sit nicely right next to the uh the Raspberry Pi Jellyfin server. I like this thing. I can feel the yeah, that's that's perfect. That's a really good build. Yeah, I'll give a little bit more extensive review and um like I said, I'll put a link in the uh, description of this video whenever I do get a link to the Etsy shop. And I will put a link um, in the next video, long form video that I feature this guy in. But until then, peace.